Okay, this is the uh, Gillow's instructions with 19 pieces per side. So that's like almost 40 pieces. Let's see if we can do it with two. Avant ça, là, je le chiffonnais, mais maintenant, j'aurais pu le chiffonner, ça sert à rien. OK, là, ton fuselage est presque recouvert. OK? Il est presque fini. Là, on va <rire> ici. OK? Deuxièmement, bien important, ta ligne du centre. Là, tu le ramènes, puis tu vois, là, il coule sur ton morceau. Hein? Regarde. Tu es en train de, en train de faire des, ouais, des, ouais. Des, des trucs composites, là. Il peut même, tu peux même aller chercher en gossant, là. Aller chercher plus loin que tu peux. Là, tu fais la même affaire ici, là, tu t'installes là-dessus. OK. Tu peux le faire là-dessus, c'est ça. C'est là que la deux semaines, ça fait 5 minutes de façon plus large. On n'a pas. J'espère Deux morceaux. J'ai une plan, là, c'est marqué. 43 pièces. English. Well, they use now with uh, the gun, a hair dryer. The hair dryer, the thing is, blows a lot, you know. The uh, heat gun, it blows just a little bit, mm -hmm. and it's too hot. But we can try it, as it's not my plane. You just love burn pat. Low, can it? When you eat over here, the glue dries faster. So you adjust it, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's gonna stay there. You push with your fingers. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh. Huh? <laughs> and here? Now, if you glue here... Okay. Oh, no, it's there. All right. Okay. Like that. And then? You <laughs> take the pooch pooch. Just... Just a tiny bit. You do like... Look. <laughs> Like our friend Luke, he does that. <laughs> Try it. He does that and then he watches one of the... <laughs> which one exactly where you want it. It's very good at that. <laughs> okay, and then you pull on it like that. Pull, pull, yeah, tighter. Oh, yeah. Tight. Like this. Okay. And now... Eat gun. Ok, c'est ça, le gros blow. Et puis, on va recouper ce one parce que ce n'est pas parfait. Mais, ce one est ok. Ok, c'est bon. 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 C'est And now, c'est beau en gris. Now you have a fuse. Wait, listen, it's looking gorgeous. Thank you, Brad. Are you French Canadian? I'm a French Canadian. Day by day. C'est ok, donc. C'est beau, en crise. En tout cas, tous nous, nous, nous autres, les, les Monsieur Pro va se rhabiller, en tout cas. <rire> monsieur Capochon a gagné, total. Bravo, Barry. <rire> Ready to work on it. Cut everything, we yeah. do this, and then you do the second, the second corner. Now, Roy. All right, now the first side is done. Now we're going to do the second side. Now you remark that we put the first coat of dope eh, all the way except on the edge there because we're going to reapply that glue there. And remember never to use the pink glue. Use the white glue, the cheap one. Because this one is longer to dry eh, for the pink color to disappear. If you use this one, you put it there, you won't have to wait uh, more than let's say Mm. 10 minutes and then you can apply your dope because if you use this red pink glue you apply your dope on it if it's not dry for like 24 hours it's gonna stay it's gonna stay pink pink everywhere okay so uh, that's it so now we're gonna be ready for the next thing so that's one piece 
of uh, paper with one coat of dope on this side. Okay, the other fuselage has been doped and now we're ready to apply glue. Now you use the cheap glue eh? and you put it on the edge there. All right, put some glue there. Okay, on the plastic, on the plastic. You want to cover the plastic completely with glue and on the edge there with glue too. You can put a bit more, it's not too bad, you can wash it after. Okay, like that, that's maybe a bit. But anyway, you won't see it, so. It's a bit heavy, but who cares about heavy when there's plenty of rubber around, you know. If it doesn't fly good, you uh, usually add some more rubber. That's my technique. That's what brings me where I stand right now. Okay, so everywhere on the plastic. Okay, like that. And uh, on every one of those little stringers there. And especially at those places because the paper is gonna come back on this one. And inside a bit. And always a bit inside there. Eh? Because we're gonna glue the paper back there. So it seems to be a lot of glue, but it's gonna dry, you know. All right. All right. Okay. So let's say there's glue everywhere. Okay. Just a bit more here. And that. Okay. All right. Now for the paper. Some people use the paper on the uh, bright side, and the new trend is to use the paper on the. Uh, on the uh, doll, side. doll side. Well, the thing is, <laughs> on the doll side, <laughs> they do that because the paint sticks more on the doll side. Now, my planes, they never go over Mac 1. <laughs> so, usually, the paint uh, stays on the paper, you know. And if they go over Mac 1, who cares, because I'm never going to find them again. So, I won't worry with that. And I like the shiny side. It's fun, you know. The second thing, they say that sometimes the paper is just going to roll and, uh, you know, do like a warp like that. I never see any of my plane warp like that. Uh, the fuselage, when it's glued, it's, it stays there. Anyway, different techniques, you know. But here uh, in Quebec, in Canada, <laughs> we do it this way. Okay, so glue everywhere. Uh, we have glue everywhere. Oh, it's gluey. Now we use this paper like that sunny side up and then you do like this now there's a technique here some people do like that and they try to catch you know that i usually go like this huh? now you wet it has to be pretty much wet it's water huh? never use alcohol you always use uh, plain water 100 percent water uh, made in your country comes from rain and everything full natural and then you drop the thing on top. Now you remember that you put glue everywhere. So now it should start to stick there. You just have to pull on it a bit. 